So it was a project between four municipalities that was created under an intermunicipal agreement hosted by Landrienne, where the site is, and the municipalities of La Corne, Saint-Marc-de-Figuerie, and Saint-Félix-de-Dalquier, who are all stakeholders in the agreement. So we were talking about a total stream of about 300 metric tons annually that we will treat here on site. The project was a few years in the making, but the project was installed in 2019, and we started up in January 2020. So we can see here the reception area. We have the trucks that come in four times a week from the four municipalities and some wood shavings mixed in from the start of the operation. Then it is introduced into the vertical mixer where the recipe is created. And it does a good job of homogenizing and structuring the material. It is a practical piece of equipment. At the exit of the mixer, where the organic matter is already in the start of the composting process, it is already mixed with our wood shavings. It gives it the consistency we're, we're looking for. It will then be directed by the composters, into the composters, by the conveyor. And here we have two, two composters to treat our waste. During the operations, the operator will open the doors. We didn't automatize anything, so it's all manual. Uh, he checks how much he has introduced, then he can roll the conveyor over to introduce the material into the second composter. We have a laboratory, a section that is insulated, since the building itself isn't. It's a section that is insulated that allows the operator to perform his different analyses, such as the humidity test, record temperatures, and perform maturity tests. So we created a space specifically for this. Here, we are at the exit of the composter number two of Landrienne, with a product that has spent about 10 to 15 days in the cylinder. And there will be around another 20 days of maturation in a bag such as this one. They are bags that are easily transported and stackable, allowing the compost to continue the process towards maturity before using the compost itself. For the time being, this is the simplest method we have decided to use, since our composters are not the same size. But eventually, we will probably add a conveyor. So here we added a space to store our wood shavings, which acts as a bulking agent that goes into our recipe and into the mixer. On the mixer there is an integrated scale, so we adjust the quantities for the CN ratio and the humidity. It's our structural agent and our carbon source. And here we have the bags at the exit of the composter, and the bags, which are one cubic meter, are switched out regularly. We place them on the site to continue composting and mature. They are breathable and reusable. Hi, Paul Arouche here, Brome, uh, owner of Brome Compost. Uh, we've been involved uh, with uh, Landrienne Municipality and all three other municipalities regrouped together in that nice project uh, to compost their organic waste uh, for all their area. So we've been involved right at the beginning in designing, uh, making the, the, uh, uh, the analysis to, to understand the volumes they had to manage, wintertime, summertime, and uh, we've been involved in the design of the building the installation and afterwards for follow-up uh, training on site and support the team to be as efficient as possible.